All right, so like around the 1960s, a family that had sort of a Smith line, and they were sort of connected to the RLDS church, um, donated this picture to the RLDS church, which they're now the Community of Christ. And one of the archivists was looking at it and decided that this was him. And so even though they'd had it since 1960, around like 2008, 2009, people really got into this because they started doing the superimposing of the death mask like this. So I decided I would try that. I'll just kind of show you. I did my best to line up the eyebrows, the nose, the lips. So they're same distance from here to here, same distance from here to here. But the chin, it really doesn't match up. And I actually contacted the Community of Christ because I was trying to find the juvenile instructor picture, or like a, um, a high resolution copy, just because I'd gotten into, well, doing this, but I was mostly, I find it more scientific to outline the person's face and features and put on the death mask. And when I did it with him, it didn't, it just didn't work. The chin was too small. Yeah. I mean, I'd post it and I'm like, yeah, who really cares? I'll just focus my picture. And I didn't want to be all negative, but I'm like, this picture is, it's been emailed to me about like four times. Like, so they sent that to me and they're like, oh, but we don't, the person that worked, at, it was the archivist that emailed me and they were very nice, by the way. The Community Christ was very, very nice when they emailed me. I'm like, mm, yeah, anyway. Um, very friendly, very polite. I thought that was great. I appreciated it. Um. But yeah, she just like, oh yeah, everyone, we just, everyone thinks this is, this scandal photograph is him. Like, okay. So I just, I missed that boat. The first picture that I found that was a photograph that people thought was him. I hadn't heard about any of this. I first one I heard about was the Spiritus photo. And so again, I've lined up the eyebrows, the nose, the lips. And even though he's got a funny shadow on his chin, actually his chin is about just as long. It's just slightly, it's even hard to tell if it's even slightly, I'd say maybe a couple centimeters smaller, if that. But I theorize on my website that I'll just kind of show you that I think the daguerreotype that Joseph Smith III talks about in 1910, that he says the RLDS painting of Joseph Smith that he says he thinks was painted in 1843, um, that he mentions a daguerreotype. So he's hearing from the Salt Lake Tribune that people are saying that there's no known true picture of his father. And, um, and so, I mean, and someone from the church department tried to say that to me, but yet they sent me this article that quotes Joseph Smith III saying, I'm refuting that statement. Okay, so the person from the church history department is saying, well, all these people that knew Joseph Smith that sent his bust or whatever, went and got a bust made of him, they didn't have any photographs and said, well, we don't know of any pictures of him. Well, Joseph Smith III in 1910 says, well, I'm refuting that. You were, I, I totally disagree that there is no known picture because I have a daguerreotype in my possession. That daguerreotype was used as a basis, I think. I think it, the photo was taken in 1843 and then was used for my father's painting in 1843. So, yeah, I mean, that painting could have been painted in 1843, but he doesn't, he was like eight years old or whatever, he, or nine. He didn't know in 1842 or 1843, he didn't know everything, you know. So I think the daguerreotype was taken before that. And the reason I believe that is by Maudsley's drawings, that um, his hair is not bouffant in Maudsley's drawings, and it's not brushed back. It's actually brushed straight forward. But in the R RLDS painting and in this picture, his hair is receding slightly, but barely. But in Maudsley's drawings, it's receding a lot. And he has to brush his hair straight, straight forward. And he kind of brushes it up a little bit, but he can't... You can tell this is where the hair growth is coming. Like you can see this widow's peak. This is not someone that brushed his hair straight forward. This is someone with more hair like seen in the RLDS painting. So I'm thinking, I think this photograph could have been taken in 1840. I mean, there was a daguerreotypist. The first selfie ever taken was in 1839 in Philly. 
Pennsylvania. Okay, 1840, Joseph Smith and his brother, who apparently, now as I say in the other things, there's there's a photograph floating around. There's no controversy. They're just saying, well, this is Hiram, and it's it looks like a daguerreotype. I'm not sure if it's tin or daguerreotype, but um, definitely a different setting than this guy. But uh, this apparently was found in Missouri. Uh, supposedly this was too. And Joseph Smith III says that he has that picture in Missouri, so I don't know. Um, and then my guy, I already go into a little bit more in another video. And then I superimpose the death mask here. So again, I line up the eyebrows. And then the nose. And then the lips. But then his chin matches up perfectly. And so I'm convinced of both the spiritus and this guy. But I think the differences between the jawline, I think, really could be explained by how many times he writes about repeatedly throwing up and dislocating his jaw. Maybe he couldn't really maybe try to get back in place and couldn't. I mean, this kind of looks like someone that maybe had that problem. Maybe his jaw eroded away a little bit. We just don't know. But definitely this fully hooded eyelid, just where this is sunken in, it just really, it matches really well. But on my website, you know, I do, I think it's the outline that really is astounding. But I can see how these wrinkles line up. And I can see how that lines up. So there's a lot more detail on this. And since this is a straight on shot, and so is the death mask, it's a little bit more to the advantage as opposed to the spiritist picture, which you're putting a straight on shot of the death mask on top of him. It's just not going to fit perfectly and same with him. But this guy has basically a downturn nose, like the tip of his nose goes down a bit lower. We know from profiles that Joseph Smith knows it kind of had a little bit more of an up angle. You can see that here on him. And you can definitely see that here on him too. He doesn't have a downturn. As you can see his nostrils, you can see his nostrils. Anyway, some ways to know if someone has more of a downturn or upturned nose. Um, yeah, and I don't mean to bash the Spiritus photo, but you know, the all three of these people are dead, and so they're all being alleged to be him. This one has gotten massive amounts of attention. There, there's there been a painting, many paintings done, and the LDS Church has never verified and said that we don't really believe this is him, or, or we don't think we can, and they've just really warned people against um, all these alleged photos, but this was among like five or 10 that came out that I didn't know about. I just, I found out about this recently, but this one never gained a lot of traction back then, even though it came out around the, around the same time. Um, but then there was a PBS documentary done recently where they talk about Joseph Smith and it's not by the, done, not at all done by the LDS church. They have some Mormon apologists, which I'm not a huge fan of those anyway. Um, I'm LDS, but I, yeah, I don't think I should apologize for anything for Joseph Smith. I don't think he needs to apologize for anything. I think if he had anything to apologize for, he would have already apologized to those people about it. So, yeah, it just it just doesn't match up. And so, but in this documentary, they talk about Joseph Smith and a painting of this scoundrel guy, which has never been proven. Like, there's nothing, his name's not on it. He, his hair is too short. Um, his eyebrows are really, really dark. People said his eyebrows weren't, they were bushy and stuff, but they, and kind of thick, but they, they, they weren't, like this is really, really dark. Um, and in every drawing and painting, his hair is longer. It comes down like this and it covers his ears and, it, and his hair hits his cheekbone in all the paintings. And his hair is not brush forward, you know, and his chin doesn't match. But yet, 
in that documentary, they are basically saying that this is him. And that bothered me. I mean, like, you could at least show the Carter photo. People that had seen him said, yeah, that kind of kind of looks like him. You know, like, these things have a little bit of, you know, and, and you know, that's based on a painting. It's just it's probably that photograph, just Smith III took a photograph of the Aldeus painting. And I think that's what became the Carter photograph. Um, and so every time I talk about Joseph Smith, that painting of this guy, this scannel guy pops up. And, and I don't think it's him. And I think that guy is in the spirit world somewhere finding out about this and just thinking this is hilarious, but sad. And so I know it comes off mean to do this, but these are real people and we shouldn't be saying for sure. I call this my 1840s Illinois guy that has some writing on the bottom of it that I'm analyzing and I'm going to find a forensic like somebody at some point and hopefully get somebody to be able to verify that someday. I don't have the money now, but, um, Definitely somebody wrote something underneath his picture in pencil that Yeah, you see a JS and one part looks like it says Caesar. It really uh, it really looks like it says Caesar in there. So But nothing really supports this. So it's kind of we shouldn't be saying it bothers me that people are saying for sure this is him and he has a fraternity pen and it's not it's not a Mason fraternity pin. Someone tried to say that today. I'm like, okay, I've looked that up. I don't see that. It looks like a college fraternity. Let's keep up. So that's pretty much all I have to say. I know it sounds kind of mean to do this, but uh, it's not him. Um, I don't think we should be so bold as to be sending out pictures on the internet saying it is him when it isn't proven at all. It's just a very damaged photo that family that had some Smiths in their background just thought it could be him. So, yeah. Anyway, have a good day.